Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the Modern Thinkers Loot Box Company Subscription Box Service. What is all over this box? Well, there's a bunch of labels and stuff like that just from shipping, but you also see a bunch of little goats. The Modern Thinkers Loot Box Company delivers to you an unconventional alternative to the very common run-of-the-mill subscription box services on the market. If you're tired of the same old stuff with every single box and every single box company that you see, especially in videos like this, the Modern Thinkers Loot Box takes that concept of a subscription service and turns it upside down, delivering every single month different things that you would look at and say, hey, I don't get a lot of that normally in my other subscription box services. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, I must say. So I'll put the link down below, and if you are interested and like what you see in this video, by all means, click the link down below and you can subscribe to the Modern Thinkers Loot Box Company. So let's see the kind of unconventional things that you would get inside this box by use of a knife. In this case, I'm going to use Hank. Let's get the box opened up. Yes, there is so much... Shipping here in Canada, there are so many different things that they put all over these boxes. Labels, packing slip windows, just so much. Sometimes I feel embarrassed because when I do the reviews of these, I open it up or I'm showcasing them on camera and there's so many just labels and stuff all over the place. But let's open this up, see what kind of things we're gonna get inside. So for starters, let's see what we got here. A little bit of a read-up. Congratulations on spending the best $30 you will ever spend. Our content is for it recommended for ages 18, 18 and up. It is our goal here at the Modern Thinkers Loot Box Company to truly bring you eye-popping, uh, eye-opening media to enhance your life. Every item in this parcel was hand-selected to bring something to your life. And for crying out loud, can we please stop sending spending our money on loot crates that send you dolls, candy posters, and other garbage the manufacturers crap out and send to our competitors. Everything in this crate has value. Your dollar is worth something, damn it. If you're going to spend it on fun mystery package every month, spend it on one that will give you a lifetime of education. Oh yeah, we don't do subscriptions. Subscriptions make you the customer uh, a number we see you as an individual. So if you like the product, come back and become a modern thinker uh, every month. Enjoy our unconventional media. Humbly, thank you. And, and that's from Austin. All right, so let's have a look at the stuff that we're going to get inside. I know I've kind of set the bar high. Let's see if the Modern Thinker's Loot Box delivers a subscription box outside the conventional means. So let's reach inside first. And we've got a, ourselves a book. Uh, Fight Club by Chuck Palunik. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation for it, but it is of the, uh, what will or was the movie, Fight Club, just in paper form. Spot's not an avid reader, but, uh, you know, it's something I really should get myself into. It stimulates the brain, gets the juices in the brain going. <laughs> Getting into reading, I think, is a very noble cause. Not noble, but certainly just looking at your phone all the time, which is the generation that we are seen to be now involved in. The new generation, and not really even the new generation, but I see people my age always on their phone, always texting away, oh, like, going to Facebook, you know, t sending their little emojis of what they're happy with, what they're un unhappy with, if they want to send like a little turd emoji. You know, the conventions of going back to reading books seem sometimes lost, and I myself am guilty for it as well. I like to get back into reading, so this will help. Fight Club by Chuck, Chuck Palinick. Again, I don't know if I've botched that name pronunciation, so I'll just put that to the side. Uh, we also got ourselves a CD. What's the CD? It says 43, and I don't know what's actually on this CD. It says 43. I'm sure I, if I read the pamphlet, I'm sure if I read the pamphlet, we'll read this afterwards. We'll find out what's on this CD. Maybe it's actually, well, 43. I don't think, and I'm probably wrong by it, 
For a second, I thought it was the Radiohead CD where they put it out into music stores and you had the option. You basically could decide how much you wanted to spend on that album. You know, you could just give a, a dollar amount. I don't think it's that, but we'll put it to the side. Maybe it's it's like, ooh, maybe it's like the ring. You know, I'll put it in, I'll play it. Uh, we'll find out first before Spot plays that. Everybody's like, Wait, what, what's on it? What's on it? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, moving along, uh, we have just a piece of just a piece of craft paper. I'm sure just to separate the contents from themselves. We got also a comic. Let's see here. We got Marvel Comics Dark Hawk. This is uh, issue 31. It's clobbering time on the Inf Infinity Crusade. See the likes of Wolverine, Rogue, the strong guy in the background, Polaris, Nova. Of course, Dark Hawk in the front there. Always love getting retro comics. Give that a read. Also a loose comic inside. This is Superman in Action Comics number 710 which the value of the comic when it would have been available is $2.75 here in Canada. At U.S., on the other hand, $1.95. Oh, this is, oh, is post-Superman death. Superman with his long mullet. You know, it's a look that I think Superman could entertain and go back to. What? Spot? Really? Are you serious? Going back to the mullet? I, 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 feel, I feel like it could work. We're going to get Superman with longer hair in Justice League, the movie, from the looks of some of the images that we've seen. Also got another comic inside. This is The Black Lamb from Helix, or, uh, which I guess is a subsidiary to DC Comics. Uh, it's 5 of 6, March 1997. U.S. 250, Canadian 350. Just going to do a quick flip through this. A completely different take on artwork from the the earlier looked at Superman comic, much darker in, to in tones. I'll give that a read as well. Put that over there. And let's see what else we have in here. I mean, I could just hold it this way, but I don't want to, I don't want to give anything away. Well, oh, we got a V for Vendetta mask, which unfortunately is, uh, it's not something that it's it's hard to I wish I could have gotten a V for Vendetta mask, but I feel like if I get a V for Vendetta mask now on eBay, I feel like the government would flag me. You know, like I am I a part of Anonymous? No, no, I just I just really like the mask. You know, I wonder if the was it NECA that created the the replica uh, V mask? I'm sure they're thinking to themselves right now, oh boy, boy, we've started something. We had no idea that this mask would be used. I mean, there's an irony to the fact that a rebellious group would be using a mask depicting a rebellion in a movie and a comic series. Not a bad looking mask. I mean, it's not as high end as the NECA, I think it's NECA version replica mask. But for the time being, you know, do like that. Uh, we got some more paper. We don't need that. We can put that to the side. And oh, we've also got Fight, Cl Fight Club inside which actually goes well with the Fight Club book that we just looked at. This is the more elaborate um, elaborate DVD release. Oops, try not to pop the DVD out in the process. I feel like I don't have Fight Club, or if I do have Fight Club, I have the bare minimum Fight Club. I have just the standard plastic cased Fight Club. I don't have the elaborate one here in the craft paper, which actually, I don't know if they deliberately did this, but putting the craft paper in the box with the DVD, maybe they're all sort of connected. I guess they really are connected. Eh, somewhat, you know. Somewhat connected also to the mask in the sense that, you know, Fight Club, kind of outside the norm, rebelling in, in the steps of uh, becoming, not vigilantes, but uh, let's see what we got here. I think that's it. We've got some more craft paper. And we got some bubble wrap. Yes, I think that's it. I think that is it. Unless there's, I'm throwing away all this craft paper, but it'd be terrible to think that maybe there's dollar bills actually slid in there or a map to a treasure. But no, I think, I think that's it. Let's look, let's revisit the insert that we got at the beginning of the video. And let's see what we got. 
Our first Loot Crate contents, everybody needs a disguise, a wise man once said. A man is only truly himself when he is not seen as himself. Use this mask for your next revolution, to inspire for mayhem, for beauty, or for fun. Do your research on Guy Fox. Also, check out V for Vendetta and the culture of Anonymous. Next, Fight Club. The first rule is that we don't talk about Fight Club. Fight Club is truly one of the best overlooked books of our time. There's so many life lessons and symbolism to learn from this great piece of literature. Please take the time to read this one. Mark up the book and take notes. I know most people don't take the time to read, which I, I agree with. But hey, you're a modern thinker. So we are not so... So we are not worried about that. We hope this book develops and changes your look on things. And hey, the movie is an absolute gem. Read the book first, though. The movie is, in our view, one of the greatest to be ever made. Hopefully it moves you. Edward Norton and Brad Pitt are worth a mention. The rest of the rules is that the classic needs no more description. Check it out. We also got Enjoy the Comic Books. A lot of the material in our loot crate is heavy and very mindful. The comic books are to enlighten things up. And let's face it, we all love comic books and want to be hero in our own lives. Lastly, we try to bring something unconventional and thought-provoking media to you every month. We have provided you with a demo of a local musician from our cold, windy state of Wyoming. 43 is an EDM musician that pours his heart into his music. Enjoy the demo we provided of his, and who knows, you might be the person saying, I knew 43 before he was famous. Here's a quote he gave us about himself. Bay Breeze is the best is my best track, I think. It's a pretty catchy tune and has some great atmosphere and reminds me of summer. My bio is pretty simple. I think it's just I wanted to be... I wanted to share just a part of my music. I don't know if I'm indifferent. I'm it's for whoever wants to take time out of their day to decide. I'm from Wyoming, and even though there isn't much else here, there are some great mountains and to get some great inspiration from. Thank you. Let's end spending money on dolls. Thank you. And then down below, uh, the I think that's Austin from ModernThinkersLootBox.com. If you guys want to get a subscription box, sort of unconventional thinking outside the normal everyday subscription box that you guys see uh, from time to time on this channel and other channels, you can subscribe to the Modern Thickers Box Company. Spot will put the link down below. Today's subscription ser service, today's subscription spot, we were having a look at the service from the Modern Thinkers Loot Box Company. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.